Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Magenta. Um, today's the day I'm going to do your bunker video, the one that everybody wants. And um, really, it's just very straightforward. It's a drill that I use in bunkers all the time. I think the issue with bunkers is that people change the golf game to play out of bunkers. Um, I see a lot of funny positions. I see people squatting down and really holding down a club and doing funny little things with the golf club and in their setup. And I've always said that posture is the most important part of your golf game. If your posture is wrong, your golf, game, or your golf swing is not going to work either. And that's pretty much the same here. Yeah. So I'm going to try and dumb it down for you in a second when you're playing in bunkers. The first thing is really is I just want you to set up normally. I don't want you to change setup. And even when you come into a bunker, if that involves you just setting up I'm putting the club down on the sand just to get set up properly when you're practicing or when you're playing social golf, as you say. That's fine. That's not a problem in the slightest. Do that. So from that normal, normal position, all we're going to do is we're going to take that golf club. We're just going to twist it. Just twist it open. So if you're a right-handed golfer, you're going to twist it for class, just a little bit. And then you're going to grip the golf club. The left handed golfer, you're going to twist it anti clockwise and then grip the golf club. Make sure you twist and then grip. That's important. That's the only change we're going to make. From there, we're going to set ourselves up and we're going to make sure that we complete a nice full swing. Okay? I don't want to see anybody jabbing down onto the sand and stopping. Okay? People don't swing the club full enough uh, when you get into a bunker. So that's very important. The next thing, and probably for me a very um, slightly different thing from others, other parts of the game. When we do this full swing, we're not going to try and hit it like we had a driver. So I don't want to see this oh, big swing through. I want the swing to be sort of one pace, nice motion all the way through, back and forward. Okay? Very important to continue that forward through. As for hitting the sand, how far do you hit the sand? One inch, two inches, you hit the sand, whatever feels comfortable for you, okay? Obviously there's a limit, we don't want to be hitting the sand back in the downswing because you're not going to do anything, right? Please hit some sand because if you don't, the ball will travel miles over the green, you'll have problems. But I like to think of a little box, maybe, maybe three or four inches with the ball in the middle of the box. I'm going to clear the sand away from that box. Here we go, open the club face. I'm just going to complete a normal golf. Nice close. I rotated and I turned my body through this way. I didn't stand there and try and lift the ball up out of the sand. That's when you'll hit the sand very early and you'll either miss the golf ball or you'll top it. Or it's not a good thing. A nice drill for you to practice. I always feel like the hardest part in sand is where you're going to hit the golf ball, all right, or, or, or controlling that low point. So my little line in the sand drill is one of my favorite drills that I, that I teach. I'm just going to draw a line. You should be able to see this on the camera. Just draw a line through the sand. And we're going to start at one end. And I'm basically just going to set myself up and I'm going to swing and try and hit that line. That's all I'm going to try and do. And I'm going to work my way around that line. And I'm just going to practice hitting the sand where the line is. As easy as that. And as I get further along that line, I might even just put the ball there as well. I just set myself up. Hit that sand. It's just that practice. Practicing where the low point is. Practicing just hitting the line, focusing on your target, taking the difficulty away, away from it. Don't worry so much about trying to get the ball close. You have to get the ball out. Now you'll notice in my setup, I didn't try and aim left or do anything like that. I don't want you to complicate it. Stand normal, twist the club face, and impact on the sand. Hope that helps. Be sure to book in for lessons. Group clinics start in the first week in December, second week in December. And um, 
keep in touch if you have any questions or any problems let me know thanks again